I'm Christy. And I'm Jeannie. And we're the Two Blue Hens. We're located at 969 Main Street, Fife, Alabama, at the red light on the corner. We're open Thursday and Friday, 10 to 5, and Saturday, 10 to 4. We're a booth mile store. We offer booth rentals beginning at $25 and no commission. We have a lot of different items to choose from. We have uh, clothing from newborn to adult, men and women. Uh, we have lots of decor. Um, we have antiques. We have, um, as we like to call them, the Rusty Dusties. Uh, we have uh, DVDs. We have books. Uh, we have jewelry. Uh, shoes. Um, you're doing really good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Y'all hey. let us know if we can help y'all. We also have a auction page. It's called Two Blue Hands Auction Page. Uh, you can find us on Facebook. Um, just go on and like and we uh, are asked to join the page and we will accept you uh, as soon as possible. And it's a weekly auction that begins on Sunday night and runs through Tuesday night. It starts at 7 p.m. on Sunday night and ends at 7 p.m. on Tuesday nights. It's a great way to find items that uh, is cheap. It's a great way to have fun. Um, if you don't have a lot of time to get out and actually physically shop, you can shop online with us. I have a dirty little secret. I used to not like thrift stores. <laughs> she still doesn't like them a whole lot, to be honest. I mean, if, if it's, it's a toss up between me and her, because I would rather go in a thrift store and she would rather go to a yard sale. So, and that's how come we got such a good blend of what we buy a lot of times. Hello. Hello. <laughs> how are you, honey? You want to be on TV with us? <laughs> Oh, oh no, are you okay? <laughs> what was your first? Tack bed. I worked at tack bed. That's because you're dating a girl. Yeah. You got an easy job. <laughs> I, I worked one time a week on Sunday. Tack bed. I had to be up at 3.30. Oh. Okay. Not so jealous of you now. I started trade day and when I was tiny. We used to go down first Monday. My papa went every first Monday and set up. And mom always took me down there. And sometimes she let me stay. I always begged to stay because I just loved the whole atmosphere. You know. I guess I've been a junker all my life. Both my papas, I didn't have much choice. You find your, your niches and you, you go with them. <laughs> My husband says this is social for me. He honestly, he, when I say something about being at work, he's like, you're not at work. He said, you don't have a job. He said, you go to socialize. He said, you don't go to work. You go to meet people, you go to talk to people, you go to visit with people. He said, you just enjoy hanging out with everybody. And I'm like, well, yeah, I do like meeting people. <laughs> That's good therapy. It is. Very good thing. Yeah. I live in an all male household, so that I'll tell you all I need to know. I live in a household with seven people. <laughs> I need therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Got a pile, don't we? He's <laughs> out just wanting a loafer, wouldn't you? <laughs> in the household in Gunnersville and Albert Oh my goodness. You like made the rounds today, haven't you? <laughs> I don't like to go back the same way I came. I guess, you know, our family has always been kind of in the trading, and, you know, my brother, he's always doing trading of some sort. It's just, I guess, something that just gets in you, and you can't, you know, you just. My papa had three girls and not a one of them. They loved to buy 
because they don't sell, they don't let go of nothing. We are constantly getting new things in, so it's always a great time to come in and check us out every weekend. Um, There's and something new. Come join us at Big Blue Making thrifting great. <laughs>